to my channel. In previous three videos, we have discussed about the topic Introduction to Analytical Chemistry. In this video, we are going to discuss about the new topic solution under which we discuss about what is solution, types of solution and the term in which the concentration of solution is major. That is normality, molarity, molality, mole fraction, etc. So let us start from solution. Solution is defined as the homogeneous mixture of two or more chemical components. For example, a teaspoon of sugar is added into a glass of water. And heterogeneous mixture consists of different phases in solution. The binary solution is composed of two chemical components. And the solution is made up of, of two components, mainly solute and solvent. The solvent is the component which is present in larger proportion. And the solute is component which is present in smaller proportion in solution. For example, here sugar is solute and water is a solvent. And depends on the amount of solute present in a solvent. The solution is uh, classified into two types, dilute solution and concentrated solution. The dilute solution is a solution in which the quantity of solute is very small as compared to solvent. And concentrated solution is the solution in which quantity of solute is large or more. The next term is a normality denoted by capital N. The normality is defined as the number of gram equivalent of solute present in 1 liter or 1 dm cube of solution. It is a ratio of gram equivalent of solute divided by volume of solution in liter 1 liter or 1 dm cube and gram equivalent of solute is calculated as mass of solute divided by equivalent mass and equivalent mass of solute is calculated as for example NaOH is dissociated in Na plus and Cl minus ion then equivalent mass of NaOH is calculated as molar mass divided by numerical charge present on the ions plus 1. Another example, sodium sulfate dissociate into Na2 plus ion and SO4 2 minus ion. So, equivalent mass is calculated as the molar mass of sodium sulfate divided by charge 2 by 2. Here, equivalent mass is 71. So, let us see example for calculation of normality. First one is calculate the normality of solution containing 31.5 gram of hydrated oxalic acid in 1250 ml of solution. So here mass of oxalic acid given, volume of solution is also given. So oxalic acid dissociate into solution as the H2 plus, uh, 2H plus ion and C2O for 2 minus ion. So equivalent mass is molar mass of oxalic acid divided by its charge, it is 63. So we can calculate gram equivalent of oxalic acid that is mass is given here 31.5 divided by equivalent mass 63. So it becomes 0 0.5 and for normality we have to convert the volume of solution in liter. So <coughs> gram equivalent weight is 0 0.5 divided by 1.25 liter then it becomes 0 0.4 normal. The unit gram per liter is indicated as a normality n symbol capital n next term is a molarity it is denoted by symbol capital m it is defined as the number of moles of solute present in one liter of solution is known as a molarity number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter that is one dm cube of or one liter and number of moles of solute is calculated as the mass of solute divided by its molar mass. Let us see example. 3.5 gram of NaOH are dissolved in a 100 ml of water in volumetric flask. Calculate molarity of the solution. So here amount of NaOH is given. Volume of solution is given here. We have to calculate number of moles first. Mass of solution divided by its molar mass. Mass is given 3.5 gram divided by molar mass 40 grams. So number of moles is 0 0.0875 moles. And 
and volume of solution is converted into liter by dividing 1000 so it becomes 0 0.1 liter and we can calculate the molarity of solution is 0 0.875 molar that is mole per liter that is molar capital M. Let us see another example. 5 gram of NaCl dissolved in a 500 ml of solution calculate the molarity of solution. So here number of moles is calculated by weight mass of solute divided by molar mass. Then it becomes 0 0.085 moles and then molarity is calculated by using formula moles of solution divided by volume of solution in liter. So 500 ml becomes 0 0.5 liter. So molarity 0 0.70 molar. Next point is a molality. It is denoted by symbol capital M. It is the number of moles of solute present in a 1000 gram or 1 kilogram of solvent. It is the ratio of number of moles of solute divided by 1 kg of solvent. And number of moles is calculated by using same formula. Let us see example. 10 gram of NaOH dissolved in 500 gram of water. What is the molality of solution? So here molality is, <coughs> we know that number of moles is weight divided by its molar mass. Molecular, uh, molar mass it becomes 0 0.25 moles and molarity is, for molarity we have to convert this 500 gram weight of solvent into the kg that is it becomes 0 0.5 kg and molality is 0 0.25 number of moles divided by volume of solution in kilograms it, it becomes equal to 0 0.5 molar that is moles per kg it becomes molar it is denoted by small m next point is mole fraction it is the ratio of number of moles of substance solute to the total number of moles of all the substance present in the solution. For example, suppose binary solution is made by two components that is Na mole subcomponent A and Nb mole subcomponent B. Then mole fraction of component A that is Xa is equal to Na divided by Na plus Nb. Similarly, mole fraction of component B is Xb is equal to Nb divided by Na plus Nb. Similarly, weight fraction is the ratio of weight of one component to the total weight of all the components present in the solution. Next point is percentage composition by weight. It is the percentage of dissolved substances that is solute by weight. And next is percentage composition by volume is the percentage of dissolved substances solute by volume. Similarly, mole percent of component A in solution is calculated as moles of A divided by total moles into 100. Similarly, parts per million ppm of um, uh, ppm concentration of component A in solution is calculated as ppm of A is equal to mass of A divided by total mass into 10 raised to 6. Here, it is calculated in parts per million. So multiply by 10 this to 6 here. Okay. Thank you for watching my video guys. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more videos.